Hey guys, Bissleton here, at Sons and Plays, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. If you haven't checked out the last one, you should go see that, because we've gone to the Forbidden Forest. We've gone into a cave full of spiders, we've looted it to high heaven, so much that we're full of gear now. We've come out the other side of this cave, found the dead body of the ghost we were talking to in the last one, got the map and the missing pages from the book we found in the, you know, the episode with the antechamber, and now we've gone to this area where we're speaking to the painting portrait of the guy who started it all, the guy we've been seeing in all the pensives. So, sit back, grab a snack or a drink, kick your feet up, most importantly have fun, like and subscribe down below, hit that bell notification to keep to everything here on Simpsons Plays, and of course, share links in the description, the TikTok, Instagram, result and Twitter, alongside Simpsons Vlogs, SimpsonPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpsons Plays 13 where you can catch me live. Be sure to drop it a follow to see when I'm streaming, what I'm streaming, where I'm streaming, and with whom I'm streaming. And don't forget, you can subscribe for free 99 or for free with Amazon Prime. You'll see awesome games like Warzone for Warzone Wednesday, Final Fantasy VII the Remake, and of course, Jedi Survival when that comes out, as well as this awesome game. So yes, if you want to watch that live, head on over there. Run out now, and enjoy the show. Let's go talk to this guy. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. That's I must his name, confess Rackham. that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? Yes. To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Damn. Okay. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Okay. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside. Those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Okay. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. You receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend. Um, what? Oh, oh. Well, would you have a look at this shit? <laughs> room of requirement. Oh, well, this is... This, why Why would this show us this when we haven't unlocked the room of requirement yet? Well, that breaks the magic. Well... Yeah, we've got room of dark arts. Ooh. Ooh, I like how it lights up. That's pretty cool. So wait, what so what 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 do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Enemies near target summoned by Accusio are also pulled to you. That's That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Stuck with the trans uh, the spell will transform into explosive objects. That's freaking good. What? That's awesome! What a... <laughs> what? <laughs> a descendor slam creates a damp... Shock it. <gasps> well, this changes everything. Split Armors has the same effect on a curse... As a curse on enemies, cursed enemies take increased damage. Stupefy. Oh shit. 
A cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. Oh shit. What's this one do? Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. Shit. So wait, 10, 20, 16, we are 20, uh, not 20, uh, 36, 40. And now, you guys should know the max level in this game from what I've read online is 40. And we've got a deficit of 4 between our talent points. So that means we'll have a maximum of 36 talent points. And there's 48 here, which means we would lose... 12 we got there's 12 stuff we can't get which I find stupid why why is that a thing uh, we don't use stupefy uh, we don't use that we don't use that basic cast impacts on um, contribute to more ancient oh well that's great increases the range of revealio that could be good but maybe that's a bit of a waste a new spell set is added. Huh? What? What does that mean? What? Uh, is that broken? Why can't I see what that says? A new spell set is added. I don't know what that means. Dark Arts. And the Imperial spells. Bombarder. Defender. Defender. Confringo. A ring of fire around me. Oh, I don't know, guys. This is weird. This is weird. I don't know what to. Do. I don't know what to do. There's so much choice here. Shit. I don't know why the screen's broken. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it's glitched out right now. I think it's glitched out right now. I don't know why. So I can't see shit. Venomous attack deal. No, don't care about that. Duration of focus. Don't care about that. We're not gonna be using that. Range of damage. Nah, don't care about that. I'll be using that. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. No, this is pretty. No, this is good. I thought for sure they'd give you one that said, okay, it does more health regeneration. But none of these are good. Oh, that's a shame. None of these are good. Like, it's very easy to say no to all of these. Which takes 8 of our 12 options out of. Well, that's good. Sprint using disillusionment. Well, these three are good. So that, that's, that's very good to have those three. But we want to obviously get these unlocking spells stuff. I don't know what that even means, but... Our character does want to be knowledgeable, so it makes sense. Those three are obviously making make sense off the bat. And these three make sense, just like enemies to detect is... Yeah. So th th these three make sense. Dark arts. Will we use stunning curse? No, disarming curse. No, good curse. I don't know about this dark art stuff because I don't know, man. I don't know. Killing an enemy would kill all cursed enemies. That's OP as fuck. 
That is OP as fuck. Wow. Um. Me's are thinking that we should be doing a lot more cursing stuff. I don't know about the dark art stuff yet, man. We want we want Confringo because we want to use that and we want to, we've got this right now so we definitely want to grab that. Don't think we'll grab that. Don't know. It's stuff I just don't know the answer to, man. Stupefy not necessary. That's not necessary. Blocking. Yeah. Don't uh, increase the range of revealio. Is that necessary? Is that really necessary? Oh, there we go. That's the one we want to heal greater effects. Yes. That makes sense. Oh shit! That's good. And disarms. Oh yeah, that's good. Basic cast mash. Yeah. Successful blocks will contribute to ancient. Don't care about that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I dodge a lot. I dodge more than a shield, so there's no point doing a shield absorption. Mm, I might do the shield absorption anyway. So we don't, we're not going to get that because we, we do not do stupefy. We just don't do it. We just never do it. A, a bl damaging blast that breaks enemy shields. See, that's useful. One. So remember, we're not getting any of these because none of these are useful. Like, none of them were useful. This room of requirement stuff is garbage. Really garbage. So we don't want any of that. So we don't need to worry about that. We don't want the last one of this. So that's nine. We just need to worry about three. And then everything else we can get. From my calculations, if my calculations are correct, which they could be wrong. I could be suckering myself right now, but I'm thinking a lot of this spell stuff is very useful. Like that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... No, 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 not that one. Shit, we don't want that one. We don't care about that. Good thing I didn't grab it. Revealio, don't care. Absorption, yeah, I do care. So right now it's it's spells and right now we only have oh incendio incendio sorry accusio master what's that do I don't see the point in that is that a good spell to have well then you'd hit all of them in one go wouldn't you maybe that is a good spell to have holy shit defender is sick. Impulse or. Uh, do I want to set. No, I want them together. I don't want to separate them. From finger fiery bolts that seek enemies. Wait, let me see that again. Oh, yeah, shit. That's really good. So we definitely want that one. That's. See, they, these two. These three are good as well. Dark art stuff. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I just don't know. Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. We, we, that's useful. That's useful. Inflicts dealing damage to a cursed. Uh, yeah, that's that's useful too. See, that makes stupefy extremely useful because that curses people. Curse enemies tech. We're not gonna use the pet. The thing is, I wanted to use um, Confringo and Thingy, but 
I'm now considering. I don't know. With all the, I don't know. Maybe we can with all these spell set stuff that it said. I don't. I just don't know. It makes sense to get this blood curse thing. But I don't know about anything else. Also, we can just switch. Oh, that makes us very OP. That, ladies and gentlemen, makes us extraordinarily OP. Shit. Because now, what that basically means is in the middle of a fight, we can go like that. And then, oh shit, right? Oh man. Now that does make things very interesting because I would realistically then That makes things very interesting. Because then I can have all these I can have these three in this top bit and have I don't know Friggin Akusio because that brings everyone towards me. What's that do? That pulls everyone up. That pushes everyone away from me. That slams people into the ground and that flips people over in the air for a, for a small duration of time. So I think combat wise you'd have... I don't know. That's what I'd have there. Sorry this is very tedious but yeah. This is just makes sense. I want you guys to hear this. My thought process behind this, even though it's taken like 15 minutes. Jesus. Right. And then, you'd have all these three. All these three. So, this is this one is our one that we, current, that we go around with basic wise, like basic bitch shit. This 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 one can be a uh, normal standard offensive stuff, which would include that that, and it'll probably include that, and then this one could include I don't know random other shit whenever we get to it. But right now, so that's the kill, that's to do that's the normal combats. And this one will have like these three in it. Oh shit. Oh my god. Look how easy it is to switch. <gasps> it's so OP. It's so OP. Now you can. I was complaining how like, you can't use any sp every spell. Yeah, you can. Holy shit. Well, where OP is, where we are, wow. Wow. Wow, when we learn spells, these brothers are not going to know. We're going to be slaughtering bitches. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Wow. This is... Oh, Rebellion. so this is where the map chamber is. This is the um, thingy area. Mm, okay. I can't wait. Oh man, I can't wait to do all them side quests and learn all the um, unforgivables now. Oh, we're going to slaughter. I'm back at Hogwarts. Everyone. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Oh, what? He's not going back with the book? Ooh, another talent point. Okay, so now we have talents. And now this changes things because this changes so many things. Now it is worthwhile putting this and this. Mm, stunning curse is it worthwhile? No, we don't really use it. Crucio Mastery, Imperial Mastery. So we, want, we want those three. So we want one, two, three. 
want four. Okay, how about that? Maybe five. Maybe four or five. I don't know because we can put. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Now that we've got all these different slots, we can put stuff in. So we could literally. You need to learn to pulse the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Okay. So now, yeah, because really, if we got, we got how many slots? We got all four slots, right? And how many different types of spells are there? One, two, three. There's about six different types of spells, but realistically, we don't need to use all of them. Yeah, we can literally have the top one be our utility spells, and all the bottom ones be our combat spells, like deadly curses. We could do so much shit. We could do so much, but you obviously have to get the hang of it. All right, sorry guys. I know this episode's been a lot of me talking and stuff, but yeah. So right now, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing a flying class! Nice. Nice. Okay. Broom stuff time. Okay, guys. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we're gonna do some broom stuff time. That's awesome. Um. Oh, wait. Why, why am I even bothering to run there? What's that in the sky? Uh, okay. Right, we'll do this then. As the last part of this episode, we'll do some flying. For you guys to enjoy. Wait. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Can't wait for this one. Oh, shit, this is going to be so cool. I hope the quest. I hope the um, control that shit. Get started. I don't have a broom. Give me a broom. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is first and foremost a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how <laughs> well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. Okay. For those who need so she's Japanese, I guess. Step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Seems like even though it's the 1800s, Hogwarts got more diversity back here than the 1900s. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> oh, there's my character. Interview. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are ah. school property. Ah. I, think I want them returned in one piece. So, oh, so use this one to descend the thing here. Excellent. 
How do you speed up and stuff like? I thought it was, I thought it was just your standard like, Well done. Now that your thingy controls to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I don't know why I didn't put quiddies. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Yeah, what there we go. This <laughs> is <laughs> freaking awesome! Nice there you go! Made it! Huh. Did anyone else see that? We all fight here as some players. Uh, this is awesome! Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. This is amazing! All of our childhood dreams are coming true in front of our faces here. We're oh, flying on a broomstick. Likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> what? Ah. Get out of here, man! This is great. <laughs> this is better than this is ten times better than when I did it in um, Harry Potter World or whatever it's meant to be called in London. Ha! Good. Wow. I've got this. I wish it looked a tiny bit. I bet it looks so much better on PC. Well, at least I hope it does. Oh, well done! At the moment! That was beautiful. That was brilliant. That was outstanding. Wow. We just, we just broom flew. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> we haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Uh... Will we get into trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Okay, we had no choice in the bar. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. <laughs> Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? <laughs> the controls are the the super garden. easy, that's for the sure. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Wait, what? How do I lean forward? <laughs> now that's more like. Alright, oh, okay. I'll take it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? <laughs> Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Indeed. Oh, bloody hell. I damaged my broom, <laughs> I think. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. <laughs> that was brilliant. And where have you two been? <laughs> Enjoying oh, ourselves? Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice. Hefty in. points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. <laughs> As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. 
Then why are you taking points off? What, what, what is this? What is this? Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Oh, indeed. I have it no regrets. <laughs> for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. That was awesome and well worth it. <laughs> Flying class, that was beautiful, guys. That was brilliant. Wow. That was really something. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was awesome. I don't know what quest we have left to do. Do we have a quest to do? For the butterflies. Okay. So there's a lot of side quests going on in the map. World map, if I look, no, wait, I want world map, I want. So Hogsmeade's got one, the world map's probably got some shit that we can do, where? I oh, know, I think it's just this mission that I can't actually do yet. Because I can't get inside the castle yet. So, can't actually do that. We can do the Hogsmeade for the butterflies quest. If you guys would be interested in that, maybe I don't know. We had a lot of talk at the start of this episode, so yeah, why not? We'll do that. We shall do that, and we shall also get sell some of the stuff that we don't need. And see if there's anything fresh in the store. Thanks, Mead. Here I come. As soon as you can. I have an idea of somewhere you can focus on your studies, <gasps> away from prying eyes Oh, and shit. That's going to be awesome. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to do this quest, and then we're going to cut to the next episode, and we're going to do the um, thingy quest, the room of requirement quest, because that's what it is. Like, There's no point in me trying to hide it, lie it, or thingy it from you guys right now. You guys already know. The room of requirement is in this game. If it wasn't bleating obvious at the start, oh, yeah. Come it is on now. Come have a look around. <laughs> No touching if you have sticky fingers. Okay, okay, chill out, chill out, chill out. I don't know what he's trying to insinuate there. Either he's trying to say we're unclean, or we're thieves. I don't know which one he's trying to say, but I don't like his tone. <laughs> what the hell is that? Unidentified head item. Uh, what? I'm going to sell it because it's blue. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. But it's blue. It's weird. Alright, what? I can't get that yet. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Alright, let me just change... I you have a sharp eye for fashion. Change our clothes. Oh, shit the wrong one, that's why. I was thinking what's going on. Why has nothing changed, right? Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. And then we'll sell you. And we'll I go do the butterfly quest. For fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Uh, this time period, muggles use horses to get by. I saw what you did. Yeah, no one's invented a car yet, so they just got trains and horses. I have the courage to go into the forest. Talk to me. We have the courage to go into the forest. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. 
Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. <laughs> it's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Okay. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. All right, let's go follow the butterflies. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Was that, was that another quest? Oh, we can do the flight test, actually. No, we won't do that quest. We'll do the flight test quest on the... How many quests are there in Hogsmeade right now? What's this? Bloody hell. More quests. Let me pay a visit to um, Thingy first, before we go in and do that flight test stuff. Because I want to I wanna purchase some of the stuff he's got for the room. Uh oh For the room of requirement. Take your Before time I'm... looking about. Shh. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Yeah, I want that one. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Right, we got what we need. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Purchase a broom. Oh shit, maybe. We might have I might not have the money to purchase a good broom now, but hey. Room requirements more important than a broom. It's not even Quidditch in this ah, game. Wonderful. Give me that. Talk to me. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And oh, okay. I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, okay. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. <laughs> right then, back to work. Well, if a flew. particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Um, okay. Let's have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What's he got? What are we looking for today? So they're all the same price. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest uh, quality. What? Okay, they all look the same. <laughs> that one's got green on it, so it's kind of like finger, but it also looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> that but item is of the highest quality. That one with a front and it just looks ridiculous. So it's, realistically, it's that either item is it the highest quality. It's either this one or this one or this one. Ah, uh, we'll just get the one with the ho Hogwarts house broom. That item is it the highest quality. Well, the house broom is ugly, right? We'll get this one, since it's on fire. Purchase. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to... Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! 
I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flights and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An okay. ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, go on then, let's go. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten him up. Uh, okay. oh, what am I doing? map. This episode's gonna be might be a bit uh, longer because of the first part that I'm gonna st still include. We need to go to the Quidditch pitch. I even... uh, can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. How do I even take the broom out? Do I have it equipped? I don't have it equipped. Do I? How do I equip the broom? How do I, how do I fly? Well, it's not out of spells. Protego. That doesn't do anything. Since when should it matter? Down his portions. Rebellion. I don't know. If it isn't Slytherin's newest room talent. Awesome. Okay. Talk to me. Hello, Amelda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. <laughs> Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Yeah, but he don't Caught know that. wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Uh, he's not jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pff, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Oh. Enough of this. <laughs> only one way to find out who's the better flyer. <laughs> I hold one of the fastest times. Does she want to have a cadaver to her face, Let's bro? <laughs> Slytherin versus Slytherin. Okay. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I'm so looking forward to wiping that smug accent out of your mouth. Uh, the audacity of this bitch. Let's go! Oh. Now that's Woo! more like it. Let's not do that again. Holy shit. I could not control that for the life of me. Oh, bloody hell. Could have done better. How the hell do you control this shit? Right. Keep her steady. Let's keep it nose down. Pointed. Jesus Christ. Wow, we, we, we need the speed boost though. No, for God's sake! 
<laughs> I'm terrible with controlling it on the analog stick. On the other stick. It's so difficult though. I can't even lie. <laughs> you you slide oh bloody hell. There's no way we beat this. This is rather fun. It is fun, but it's bloody hard when you're in a competition. What's with these bubbles, man? Woo! Gonna win. Yes, even with the penalty, we won. Woo! That's how we do it here on Simpson Plays. Yeah! <laughs> now, that was awesome. <laughs> even with a pine penalty, we kicked your ass. We kicked your ass. Oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, fine. Oh, oh, what was that? What, what was that shit? You talking shit? This is over. Didn't think so. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Oh. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, that's not what I'm I wanted him to, to say. But fair enough. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Yeah, but we're gonna upgrade our broom and kick your ass. Where did we get? 1.32 So that puts us... I suspect us... Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. 1.32 Rass. 1.32 That's not even... 1.32 How the fuck did he manage to get a 1.32? That's incredible! What the hell? What the shit? 1.32 How? There is no way! Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Honestly, guys, I I I I won't lie to you when I say when I say I am not attempting to get that anytime soon. One oh, that's no With something to report. I hope. One thirty-two. Jesus, you'd have to hit like everything perfectly. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but. It fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Okay. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. All right, mate. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Well then, ladies and gentlemen, that was awesome. I can't even lie. We're gonna. I'm gonna pick up this quest whilst off camera. I won't do it though. But we'll come. I'll be back straight with the next episode that you guys will be seeing soon enough. So then, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this extended episode. I'm sorry for the over talking and thinking and, and thinking out loud process stuff at the start of the video. But I hope you enjoyed the Quidditch um, stuff and the broom flying. So then, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification to keep to do everything here on this channel. And of course, the links in the description of TikTok, Instagram, Rizzle, and Twitter. Also, send some vlogs, send some players.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpson underscore plays 13, where you can catch me streaming this game live alongside games like Final Fantasy 7 the remake and of course Jedi Survivor when that comes out. Be sure to drop that channel a follow to see when I'm streaming, what I'm streaming, where I'm streaming and with whom I'm streaming 
and you can subscribe for free 99 or for free with Amazon Prime to support me as a streamer if you so wish to. Until next time, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Be sure to come back and check out the next episode because we are going to the Room of Requirement. Until next time, guys, peace.